18 Congress of Da Nang's Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union, China 2017-2022. High-level workshop on building smart city. Contest on agriculture design and planning for the Nang Cultural Center. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. On the morning of October the 27th, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union of Da Nang City solemnly opened the official session of the 18th Congress of the Tender 2017-2022 with the participation of the Secretary of Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union Central Committee, Bui Quang Hui, and member of the Party Central Committee, Secretary of Da Nang Party Committee, Chung Quang Nghĩa. Summing up the term 2012-2017, the youth of the city successfully completed the set task with six over eight contents reaching and exceeding the targets, of which there are many impressive numbers. For example, 4,969 youth works at all level, making benefits of more than 37 billion dollars in the whole city. Consulting vocational guidance for more than 61,500 youths providing job opportunities for nearly 13,000 young people. Many examples of brave youngsters are honored. Many typical young people start their successful businesses, contributing to creating a new image of dynamic young generation of Da Nang City. This Congress will determine the tasks and solutions for the youth union activities and youth movements in the period of 2017-2022, aiming at building a strong organization, truly a pioneer and creative force in study, career-making, start-up, contributing to the city's development, national defense and international integration. On October the 27th morning, the Municipal People's Committee held a high-level workshop on building a smart city and promoting investment in IT development. Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Ho Ki Minh, chaired the workshop. Over many years, Da Nang has exerted great efforts to build an implement e-government system. The efficient operation of e-government service has put Da Nang at top of PCI measures, PAR index and ICT index, setting a record that is unprecedented in the history of Vietnam IT industry and British national and global awards. This initial result sets a foundation for smart city development and creates aspirations for Da Nang to choose IT development as one of its breakthroughs in the coming time. At this workshop, the city hopes to seek and listen to opinions, feedback, solutions and experiences of corporations, enterprises, organizations and individuals so that the city could make new breakthroughs. On October the 26th, Da Nang People's Committee held a regular third quarter press conference to publish information on the socio-economic situation of the first nine months, duties of the last months of the year, as well as the preparation for organizing APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Regarding the reparation for APEC at the press conference, representatives of the city leaders said that on preparatory activities for the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 are basically completed, in particular arranging 18 hotels for high-level delegates and entourage, 12 hotels for businesses, 24 hotels for press. The city has organized over 30 skill training courses for all APEC serving staff urban decoration and embellishment, traffic management plans, temporarily haunted tourism activities, construction activities on the streets and areas for the APEC event. In particular, to promote the image of the city, Da Nang has introduced to the delegations 68 restaurants serving specialties of the city and 14 shopping attractions. In order to provide best hospitality service for APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017, the Nang Department of Tourism has set up working teams inspecting hotels. Accordingly, the department will focus on examining the preparation work, infrastructure, human resources and manner of service. The unit also reveals whether reserve rooms at the hotels satisfy specific requirements of each delegation and guests. So far, there will be 54 hotels being examined this time. 
They include big hotels serving APEC delegates and journalists, and some other hotels receiving large number of tourists. Previously, the city's tourism department has organized several APEC training classes and conducted various promotion activities at home and abroad on this occasion. Restaurants in the locality has been guided to build exclusive menus for each delegation and target customer, combining Vietnamese cuisines with other countries' cuisines. On the afternoon of October the 26th, the Da Nang Border Guard High Command deployed the plan to arrange resources for safeguarding and blocking the Sun Chia Peninsula during the APEC Economic Leaders Week. Accordingly, the units use maximum forces and means of transport to conduct the duty to ensure order and security on the days of the event. To coordinate with related agencies in arranging the anchorage and operation of vessels on rivers and at sea, the Danang Bodegar High Command would maintain the guarding force and means of transport 24 hours according to the scope of missions, inspecting and controlling vehicles moving into prohibited areas or those showing signs of suspicion. Besides, the Danang Bodegar will coordinate with the forces to monitor and grasp the situation protecting the conference locations and ensure the security and order of the key routes. The Da Nang Department of Transport said that so far, about 90% of the construction volume of the Điện Biên Phủ Nguyễn Tri Phương underground tunnel have been completed. The travel of people through the tunnel is expected to begin on October the 29th. After the APEC Economic Leaders Week, the City Department of Transport will instruct the contractor to continue carrying out the remaining works to ensure that the works conform to the approved design documents. This is the construction built under the Nang Sustainable City Development Projects funded by the World Bank, so the quality of the construction is under the on-site supervision of foreign consultants. They have coordinated with the contractors in implementing, speeding up the progress and completing the construction, ensuring the high quality and aesthetic value. On the morning of October the 27th, the University of Da Nang held a workshop on combining training with scientific research and technology transfer in the higher education institutions. The workshop attracted many scientists and leaders of universities nationwide. In the period when knowledge economy is developing in the trend of the fourth industrial revolution, scientific research, knowledge dissemination, absorption and application are very important to the training. At the workshop, participants discussed and pointed out the shortcomings and obstacles, proposing models and effective solutions to creating the connections between training, scientific research and technology transfer between universities and enterprises. The noteworthy presentations at the workshop included solutions to strengthening the connection between scientific research and postgraduate training, the role of the research and teaching group in the higher education institutions in scientific research and technology transfer, cooperation between University of Da Nang and enterprises, proposing mechanisms for linking science and technology organizations with enterprises. The Da Nang Department of Culture and Sports has just made an announcement on organizing a contest for planning architecture design for the city's cultural center. The investment plan for the project was approved by Da Nang People's Committee. The City Department of Culture and Sports is a project investor and the Management Board of Investment and Construction of Civil and Industrial Projects in Da Nang is a project executor. The planned project location is in Hue Chung Gua Kam Le District with a construction area of 26,597 square meters. Applications for the contest must be submitted before or on November the 6th to the Nang Engineering and Construction Consulting Center at 107 Le Sa Street, Hoa Cường Nam Gua Thai Chou District. Participants have 45 days to repair their applications. The contest prizes include a first prize of 200 million dollars and a second prize of 80 million dollars. 
On the morning of October the 26th in Da Nang took place the signing ceremony for the Cooperation Agreement on State Management in the fields of radio, television and electronic information between the Department of Radio, Television and Electronic Information under the Ministry of Information and Communications with the Da Nang Department of Information and Communications. The cooperation agreement aims to enhance, share and support the state management in the fields of radio, television and electronic information between the two units, whereby fully tapping the potentials and strengths of each side, especially broadly sharing information, cooperating to handle the outstanding and complicated cases in the localities, contributing to improving the capacity and efficiency of state management in line with the direction of the Ministry of Information and Communications and the Da Nang People's Committee. The specific coordination plan is advising on policy formulation, examining and educating legal regulations, inspecting and handling violations, as well as collecting and sharing information, data on radio, television and electronic information. That's all for today's news. Please log on to dt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye for now.